photocatalytic degradation of methylene blue dye. Hello guys, today we are going to see the photocatalysis or you can say the photo degradation of the methylene blue dye and this will be achieved by the use of a UV visible lamp which intensity is 394 nanometers and in the case of oxidizing agent we are going to use hydrogen peroxide so what happens basically in the photocatalysis this is the acceleration of a photo reaction in the presence of a photocatalyst so here the photocatalyst is or you can say the catalyst is biochar LDH so the excited state of which repeatedly interacts with the reaction partners forming reaction intermediates and also it recycles or you can say regenerates itself after each cycle of such interactions so in many cases the catalyst is solid so the solid is here is the biochar LDH that upon irradi irradiation with the UV or you can say the visible light generates electron hole pairs that generate free radicals so in this case the free radicals would be OH radicals so the uh, the mechanism or you can say the reaction and mechanism can be described by four important steps in the case of photodegradation the first step is the light absorption to generate electron hole pairs and the second step is separation of excited charges and then we have transfer of electron holes to the surface of the photocatalyst so shortly we'll be seeing how we will be, be I mean uh, doing the experiment how we'll do the tryouts so the basic step is to prepare our stock solution so here the stock solution is the methylene blue so this is around 20 ppm or 20 milligram uh, added in one liter of the deionized water okay now the next step is to measure the uh, the polluted concentration so either you can start so our concentration of the pollutant is 20.46 ppm okay. to measure the uh, catalyst dosage so add 10 milligram of the catalyst of the catalyst is 10 milligram we are going to transfer this to the beaker now we are going to transfer this 500 ml of the methylene blue with the help of a cylinder add 1% of the H2O2 5 ml okay yes now switch on the lamp and make it focus okay and then cover the whole system okay then you have to start the I mean the time now start the stopwatch please note down the time kinetics okay so after every five minutes you have to take out the sample okay every five minutes for checking out the samples using a syringe okay add here okay now we are centrifuging the samples so after centrifuge you will take the final readings so you have to do this after every five minutes till half an hour check okay. half an hour if it is 100 percent removed stop if it is not continue continue more 15 minutes okay i reckon this is the first five minutes interval we will test the concentration we added three milliliter of the first interval after five minutes from being in the lamp, it was the reduced to 12.37 concentration. And this is the second uh, sampling from our five minute interval. So we are on to the 10 minutes sample. It will take around 3 milliliter. So the second sample reached to 10.88 milligram per liter. This is for our uh, 10 minute sample. This is our third sample, 15 minutes mark from our five minute intervals we will take around three milliliter from the sample as always our third sample reached 7.91 milligram per liter Hello, this is our fourth sample for uh, minutes number 25 concentration reached less than five milligram per liter sample number 20 minutes is 5.76 milligram per liter we have sample number 6, minute number 35, which shows 2.22 mg per liter. So you all saw that the last concluding concentration was around 2 ppm, which shows that the catalyst that we use and the oxidizing agent we use, I mean the last concentration 2 ppm, it means that it was totally 90% of the dye was degraded using the, I mean the whole system or you can say the whole catalyst, okay. So this is, I mean, proves that the catalysis, I mean, has the potential of degrading the dye.